Hi there Aquarius, I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's look into the energies of your person. We'll see what's going on with your person. What do these cards have to say today? We have two of wands, three of sword, seven of pentacle, seven of sword, Oh, I've got two cards coming out here. Tower. King of Sword. Seven of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. All right, so whatever kind of um, explosive situation happened here, uh, it was meant to happen to uh, realign your person. There's some sort of truth was spoken here. Something came to light here, um, and it's going to realign your person. I keep hearing that. I'm getting, you know, with these sevens, we have three sevens here. Seven, seven, seven. Uh, you know, seven for me is a, is a number of miracles. This number seven is divine. Uh, seven, seven, seven is a lucky number. It's like jackpot number. Um, I know that, you know, with the Seven of Swords here, you know, people may think, but well, yeah, okay, sure, Seven of Swords, because Seven of Swords gets a bad rap. Um, but whatever, is, whatever has come to the surface here, whatever explosion just happened, like something uh, dramatic here just happened, it's realigning your person. It's showing them where they truly belong here. If we look at this Seven of Swords, the Seven of Swords is in your person's heart space here how they're feeling. It's like they're feeling like they have all of this, um, they got all of these swords, but what they, it doesn't bring them happiness. Like they're in the dark here. It's like in order to uh, realign themselves, all they really need to do is choose the one sword, you know, the truth, find the truth of the matter here. And then they can realign with where they belong here. And it, it might've taken your person a while to figure this out. Like they needed to be shaken up in order to find the truth of the matter, in order to find that clarity. I mean, we do have the King of Swords there. He's He's got like this butterfly right at the tip of that sword, you know, and that sword, you know, that sword can represent the Ace of Sword and a transformation, like whatever... Whatever just happened in your person's world, I mean, we got three of sword in your person's, the energy of your person's environment. So it's like something just took place that shattered your person's belief system, like something they thought, something they thought they needed or wanted is, is shattered here. And I'm getting like very, I'm getting, <coughs> I don't know if that I was getting choked up or I was getting throat chakra. I was getting all sudden like my breath was taken away. Um, and I didn't feel like it was throat chakra. And I didn't feel like it was like choked. Like when you say choked up, like choked up means like you're almost ready to weep or something. It wasn't any of that. It was just like <gasps> all of a sudden my, my, my breath was taken away. It was like a shocking situation or, or somebody said something or an incident happened or something happened to realign your person and they're capable of of um figuring out what's true and what's what's false here you know if you look at the seven of wands it's like there's a lot of um lot coming at your person here and you know this three of swords it's like a it feels very like explosive energy like this three of swords is a lot of activity happening here seven of wands a lot of activity happening there tower energy a lot of activity seven of seven of swords gets a bad rap you know but i feel like it's a your person is coming to a miraculous moment here, whether, you know, it feels like maybe everything's exploding around them, but they're going to, uh, it'll be, it's a miracle. The miracle comes in, you know, and the luck comes in when we get realigned to where we're meant to be here. Uh, with this two of wands, yeah, judgment. There's a big realization. You know, we, we, we thought we were, we thought we were, you know, ready to, um, you know, get buried here, but we're um, actually 
oh, awakening. We're actually coming alive now. We're we're really, um, you know, I'm getting like I'm getting a little bit of like tornado energy, like just like everything coming apart. Um, and then you know we got to kind of once 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 the the storm settles. We get realigned, like, okay, now we have to rebuild is what it is. You know, everything, the dust settles and then we rebuild. Yeah, on a solid foundation. Look at this, three of coin. Uh, you know, threes are threes are, are um, trinity numbers. You know, past, present, future. Uh, the, the, the new, the old... I'm going to say, yeah, the old and the present and the, I don't know, I guess that's the same. But there's something about, there's something about releasing the past, living in the now, and being hopeful for the future. Like, there's a miracle here. Somewhere in here, there's a miracle. Even if it seems like everything is imploding and there's all these obstacles, things are happening the way they're meant to happen. And it may have taken a long time for this to come around here. Yeah, star on this seven of pentacles. There's a clarity. There's a reason for this. Whatever this is, is realigning your person to truth here. Strength. Yeah, whatever, whatever your person is going through or enduring, if it feels like their world is coming apart here, they have what it takes to realign, to refocus, to find clarity, to transform. You know, there's there's a delicate balance here. You know, this King of Sword, King of Swords is very set in his ways, you know, but yet he's he's balancing this, or it's not that he's balancing the butterfly. The butterfly like landed on his sword, the tip of his sword. It's like, and this King of Swords, he's up in the clouds. He's like connected. A lot of clouds here on this Seven of Wands. It's like spirit coming in with divinity. You know, the sevens were divine and these threes, you know, seven and three adds up to a ten. The end and the beginning, you know, the 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 whole like the coming around full circle here justice yes justice makes things right tower has to come in and clear out whatever doesn't work whatever's just just too um i'm hearing the word rambunctious or too too wild and crazy now it's time to settle settle down here knight of cups yeah follow your heart take time take time to um express love to those you love here i feel like they're being realigned i feel like they're being realigned to you here with this um king of sword like the knight of cups like your person wants to communicate with you but i feel like like the dust has to settle like the the obstacles have to clear they have to get through these bars here in order to deliver to deliver their message of, of love to you here a lot going on for them but they realize it now we have the death card here it's like this is a major transformation i mean i was getting that I was getting transformation from this tiny, teeny butterfly on this, on that card. You know, it's like something so small and it's miraculous. You know, a butterfly's life cycle is miraculous. Nature is miraculous. Life is miraculous. And it's a perspective. And I feel like whatever was shaken up, whatever ended, whatever chaos your person just experienced whatever obstacles it it was it was um actually a divine intervention and a miracle because now your person is settled here and now they're feeling uh, grounded here Ten of Coins. Yes, it's a blessing. It could be like a blessing in disguise here. Ten of Coins is, is big blessings here. Bottom of the stack, Queen of Coins. It's like, yeah, there's something solid and, and supportive and prosperous here and exciting and creative here with Queen of Wands. Queen of Coin, Queen of Wands. Wow, the right things are happening at the right time. There's feminine energy here. There's caring. There's sharing. Uh, there's companionship here. There's having it all. And I feel like that was missing. You know, it just it felt like it was missing in the past. Um, and now, like, we're we're coming out of, it's like coming out of the dark or maybe getting in touch with our feminine side, regardless of gender here. It's like... Everything was shaken up for a reason to realign your person. All right. Let's uh let's see. I think they're telling me to read both of these. Bottom of the deck and this one. And then this one I pulled out also in closing. There are uh words of wisdom from our oracle message. We have inner wisdom. A thousand thoughts will come and go, 
Allow them to come, but do not attach. Allow them to go. Focus on your inner light, the wisdom of your soul, for it alone is true and everlasting. Be guided by your heart. You have all it takes to achieve what you want. And then we have the Golden Path wanted to also join this reading. You are a beautiful, gifted, and sensitive soul, traveling a golden path full of creativity and light. You are on your way to fulfilling your heart's deepest desires. Enjoy each precious moment along your path to ever greater love and wisdom. Namaste. Peace be with you. Bye now.